Hey guys, I'm back with some code. Last week I made three post-processing scripts. Two of them are bricklayers that implements the staggering layers, a non-planar infill to make the infill print in a sine wave. Now it's time to stitch them together to hopefully achieve even stronger prints. For more details about the scripts, check out the individual videos about them. Now let's look at some changes. For the brick layers, I altered the wall printing order. It now prints all of the lower walls first and then all of the shifted ones. This should hopefully decrease the nozzle touching the print and result in less artifacts. You can turn this on or off as you like. There are still some bugs with travel lines sometimes. For the non-planar infill, I changed how the extrusion values get calculated. The deformed lines obviously result into longer print distances, so we need to account for that with the extrusion values. Now let's look at how you can use it. For that you need to have Python installed, which you can download from python.org. Then open a command window and type where python and copy that path. Download my script from the github, which is linked in the description. Now in Prusa Slicer, go to settings and make sure to enable external parameters first for better results. Now go to print settings and then output options and add your path to python in quotation marks. After that, add the path to the script in quotation marks too. You now can add your desired parameters. Minus extrusion multiplier followed by a number to extrude a bit more material on the shifted walls. Minus wall reorder 0 or 1 to disable or enable the wall loop reordering. Minus non-planar 0 or 1 to disable or enable the non-planar infill. Minus amplitude followed by a number and minus frequency followed by a number to adjust the sine wave of the deformed infill. Now you can slice and export. The script runs on export so you don't see any changes in the slicer directly. You can drag the sliced g-code file back into the slicer to take a look at the results. Now that we have that sorted, I have some additional stuff to talk about. I often get asked why I'm doing stuff as post-processing scripts. I agree with you, a slicer implementation would be better. Post-processing scripts are simply the easiest way for me to get proof of concept out for the public. Then it can be tested and debugged, and maybe eventually end up in the slicers if it proves to be a good concept. So what now? The bricklayer script especially got a whole lot of people attracted to help to fix bugs and add compatibility. I didn't have the time to look through all of the pull requests yet because I was coding the other scripts. But now I will start doing that. That also means from now on the script is not my project anymore. It is a project of many talented people and together we can hopefully make a cool thing out of this. That is what I love about this community and open source in general. Now from my side I want to thank you so much for all the recent support and for all the donated coffees and super thanks. Now go have fun with the new script. If you want to support me again, you can like and comment this video. Goodbye!